What's up, tubers? This is Ray from rwcweb.com. Ray worked computers since 1996. Doing the web starts thing. This is uh, one of my ninth or tenth videos on web starts. Okay, we made this site. This little free website by web starts. The ultimate drag and drop. Just gonna tweak it out a little bit, maybe get rid of that. Don't really need that. Let's see what's going on there. I didn't really like that. That was one of them icons. Okay. Now if you remember, got your choice of light mode or dark mode. Yeah, all kinds of back noise. Okay, I made a bunch of subdomains using the web starts, ultimate drag and drop, site builder, totally free, excellent way to practice, okay, probably saw some of these in my other videos, alright, uh, still getting views on them, starting to rock and roll, okay, See what's going on. Now, you'll have full analytics and everything when you sign up to a paid account. And it's only like seven bucks a month. You get all kinds of stuff with it. You get all this stuff right here with it. Everything. You can do an email. You got live chat on your site. You got an SSL certificate making your site secure you got backups okay got total search engine optimization it's so easy it's built in basically it's built in you know I love the analytics different things like that okay but you gotta have the paid site to do that Okay, you got a free email account. A lot of these places, GoDaddy and all them, they don't give you a free email account. Which, I, on the back end of it, you can you can get it through the old coding, you know. Uh, but they don't they don't give it to you, and it's a rip off. It really is. Okay, so I just want to go in there and adjust a couple things. Go into the style. I like a big button. Okay, you like a big button. Now I'm guessing that the, oh yeah, we like big buttons like that. Okay, so let's change that around a little bit. All right, now you're watching, you ready? The ultimate drag and drop site builder. Look at that. I call it the drag all button. I absolutely love it. Okay, now we're going to center that. Ready? Let's do it again. You ready? The ultimate drag and drop. Look, moving it all down. Okay. So, now that we made that biggie wiggy, let's make it all biggie wiggy, huh? Let's make it all biggie wiggy. Nice big fat button. Okay. Let's do it this way. Spread everybody out. Look at that. Gotta love a big fat button. Gonna hit this like this. Hit this like this. Bada boom. Now, if you remember correctly, if you saw the other videos, I encourage you to watch them all. Okay. Once you put one object over another, okay, it holds it and keeps it there. So you could just move that object okay so let's get this going a little bit neater i am anal retentive which kind of is my undoing okay so now this is going to centerize everybody let's give that a save let's give it a revamp oh yeah okay not bad not bad arrows are a little obscure 
But you get the picture. You gotta have a big butt, man. You gotta have a big butt. Not for nothing, but you want that button right in people's faces. You know what I'm saying? Okay, save that. Make it nicey nice. Get this over here. Right? Squared off and big button. Now, this was just, if, if you remember from the videos, this was just taken from the private label rights. Uh, just like their, their stock, uh, you know, uh, a lot of these private label rights, they come with a lot of text, a lot of copy about the product, whatever it is. Okay. Now, let's do this a little bit better. Whoops. Couldn't tell the real thing from the... Okay, now with certain things like this, I can highlight that and take my arrow keys and move it around. That feature I absolutely love. Us anal retentive guys love that. Okay. Oops, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Now I'm thinking maybe we should point it right at it. Because here's what happens. When you when you got these opt-in pages, okay? When you got these opt-in pages, you want the people. Okay, to do nothing, you want them to do nothing but put their email in that box and click that big button, okay? You want them to do nothing but that, okay? So let's do this real quick. Let's do a duplicate, and let's take it like that. Okay, see how that looks. Not too bad, not too bad. Or we could do one big one. Or we can even go online and get a fancy one. I probably got some on my computers. Uh oh, here goes that. Background noise. Okay. Alright, but here's the deal. You do it any way you want to do it. Because the ultimate drag and drop allows you to do that. Okay. It allows you to do that. Now, it's a little sloppy. But it's just for the sake of this video. I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet. Okay. Now. As you come down, let's go here. Now remember, you want to keep your copyright information. You want to have these. If you just do a search for privacy and uh, like spam, okay. If you want to email me, I can get you some pre-formatted ones. They're all basically the same. And then you just put your own information in it, like your web address and your street address or contact information, you know, and you're going to put the name of your company and or product in it, you know, but it's always good to look professional and have those, okay? And it also has to do is be a text file of it somewhere, just like that. It doesn't have to be formatted fancy. I mean, you can format it fancy. Most people don't read them, but, you know, you don't want any anybody like Facebook uh, knocking you out of the game, okay, because, because of that, okay, this, this button here, let me, let me show you how that looks, okay, it's got the email address in there, but, it's not showing me the link, I don't know if you could see it on the bottom here, but, there's a, there's a, a a link. It's called mail to. So I can't save the link. It's actually an obsolete link. It says mail to and then the email address. And what it would do is open up your default email, like your AOL or you know whatever you used to use. But as long as it's there, it's got your email address in there. Okay, so you you want those you want those things to look legit. Now again, I just did this as an info informational 
informational type of thing. Okay, now if you remember correctly, we took the colors. Okay, we took the colors from that. This video is getting a little long. Okay, we, we took the, the, the colors from that. Text color, background color, and we grabbed that to match the product. Okay. Now, when we go here, and we go to the button settings, we want it to go to a link. Okay. We put an anchor on the page. Okay, if you remember. And throughout the, the page, the landing page, sales page, whatever you want to call it, okay, you're going to want to have that call to action throughout the page, okay? Click here to get it, and it'll take us back to the top, okay? So that's just some quick drag and drop ultimate drag and drop web starts okay